hello everyone uh, yesterday i have given this question to you uh, so i will give you the solution so and try to explain the things in this question the height burden spacing height already given subgrade drilling and the collar stemming so if this is our hole the stemming given and the subgrade subgrade this is explosive area so powder factor powder factor will be equal to weight of the rock divided by mass of explosive so weight of the explosive equal to volume equal volume of rock multiply with the density of rock divided by volume of the explosive into density of the explosive so how you will find out the volume of the rock if this is the your rock block then the volume will be burden spacing and height so burden spacing and height is the volume and density of the rock you can density of the rock and what will be the volume of the explosive so if this is our hole then pi d square by 4 l equivalent so pi d square by 4 l equivalent into density of explosive so what is the burden burden is 3 spacing is 4 and the height is 12 and density of the rock is 2.5 why 2.5 you can write what is because this is ratio you can write 2500 divided by 2500 and pi d diameter diameter of the hole is 150 mm so if you will convert it in meter it will be 0.15 meter 0.15 square by 4 l equivalent what is l equivalent the height of the bench height of the bench is 12 you will minus the stemming height which is 4 and you will add subhead subgrade sub drilling which 1 and explosive density is 800 so when you will solve it you will get your answer 3 4 12 25 divided by 3.14 0 0.15 0 0.15 divided by 8 plus 9 so if you solve it you will get your answer so it will hurt again so five three five three and three two three three four ja and you will get after multiplication and divideation you will get three two point eight three three is your answer please comment if you have still have a doubt because we have to go uh, discuss more questions yes or they will 29 up to 31 has completed yesterday okay so this was the solution of the yesterday class today we will start from please uh, try to uh, if, because this type of question we have not tried i just give you the formula so whenever this type of question will come because i have not seen in your gate examination on similar base but if what he want to say the tension crack of the 5 meter depth behind a rock slope crest if it is if this is crest some water is this is completely filled with the water so what is the horizontal force so the water will apply some horizontal some horizontal force so if you want to find out the horizontal force then you should use formula of half rho of water into z of water ka square where 
रो वाटर इज द वन थाउजेंड के जी पर मीटर क्यूब आई टोल्ड यू इफ के जी बाई मीटर क्यूब देन यू टेक वन थाउजेंड एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक इन टन देन वन टन पर ओके एंड फॉर जे डब्ल्यू हियर गिवन इज दे डब्ल्यू इज गिवन how much the, so this length is he given as 5 meter so 5 meter depth so z is 5 meter so we when you will put in this formula so it will be horizontal force which is half rho rho is 1000 hello and z is 5 ka square okay so multiply this and you will get 12500 in kg 25125 and 0 theek hai okay so this is in you will get in kg but in the in the uh, you you the option are all are in different different units so you should try to remember these units mpa what is mpa what is newton newton meter okay if you want to convert in kg then you have to multiply 12500 with the 9.81 to get in newton so it will be when you will multiply it will you will get this value okay and if kilo newton then you will divide with 1000 it will be kilo newton so you sometime you need to convert the data in other units so you should remember two or three conversion so if you want to convert in kg to newton then you have to multiply with the 9.81 so if you want to convert in newton to kg then you have to divide with 9.81 okay so please write down within 30 second then we will start from the next question and if you have still have a doubt regarding any question whatever i have teach you then you are open to ask me the questions but please try to go and revise this is the simply formula you have to remember no matlab isme koi bahut zyada rock and science nahi yaar jo cheez if i if a question need any explanation i definitely try to explain and i will take videos i will make a drawing i will do whatever i have to do to explain you but this is just simple formula you have to remember this formula and put it put in the question and get the answer okay so first uh economical value in the lakhs of the rupees of the section in the block economic model s uh, are shown permission slope so optimum pill value optimum pit value so i told you that i will uh, i will take some questions on the optimum pit value questions so what is the optimum pill pit value so we do various methods like graphs methods graphs you will take graphs and some value will given so you will draw which method or which path is required to go to get best result or optimum result or uh, this this is also example of optimum open pit value so there are various four three four methods to get a optimum value okay optimum pit so suppose if you want to extract this ore block which you, which you will get 50000 crore or 50 crore rupees so to extract this block what you have to do you have to extract upper block of the this okay and then extract side block also these two side block also why because your machine cannot dig this this out this this area should be exposed 
so if this area will be exposed you can go up to this depth okay so you have to dig out this block to excavate this block okay this is your ore okay and now if you want to dig for this block you have to extract this ob matlab agar aapko ye wala nikalna hai na ye ye block to aapko iske upar ke teeno block ko nikalna padega hai na iski mitti ko hatana padega agar aapko in teeno ko nikalna hai to iske upar kitna nikalna padega to iske upar bhi teen block honge ek block do block teen block theek hai aur is wale ke upar bhi teen block honge तो एक ब्लॉक तो ये हो गया दूसरा ब्लॉक ये हो गया तीसरा ब्लॉक तो तुम वैसे ही निकाल चुके हो ठीक है और मिडिल वाले के लिए तुम जो तीनों ब्लॉक निकालने वो निकाल ही चुके हो सो इफ यू वांट टू एक्सक्वेट दिस इफ यू वांट टू एक्सक्वेट दिस ब्लॉक देन यू हैव टू एक्सक्वेट दिस मटेरियल ओके एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सक्वेट दिस ब्लॉक देन यू हैव टू एक्सक्वेट दिस थ्री ब्लॉक or if you want to excavate this then you already excavated so you do not need to excavate anything so agar aapko ye nikalna hai na to ye maan lo agar aapki surface hai hai na to aapko ye block nikalne ke liye pehle uske upar ke teen block nikalne padenge aur in teeno ko nikalne ke liye iske liye teen iske liye teen samajh gaye yahi hai optimum pit analysis kaise aapko how to dig out the material okay now this question is very simple for you why because if you want to excavate this 5 kg because you are getting profit in here okay this is minus minus 2 hai na this is minus 2 so on the uh, bottom row if you want to excavate this 5 5 lakh crore rupees or 5 lakhs rupees so you are getting profitable here so if you want to excavate i told you to excavate this block you have to dig out upper 3 okay now you had get this material then to excavate this you further excavate upper 3 okay and for this you have to excavate these three okay so now that the shape will be like this 1 2 3 or 5 and this is 3 and this is 1 this is 5 0 0 minus 1 it is it will be minus 1 1 minus 1 0 minus 1 so now add add all all the values so all the value if you will add minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 0 minus 1 plus 0 plus 0 minus 1 plus 5 so this cut 1 2 3 3 minus three plus 5 you will get 2 2 lakhs so so open pit optimize for the section lakh of rupees 2 lakh rupees if you have a doubt please comment please comment if you have a doubt in question number 34 please comment if anyone have a doubt in question number 34 those who do not have a doubt try to solve this question screenshot it or uh, try to solve it otherwise those who have a doubt in question number 34 please comment otherwise we will discuss next question so i will wait 30 second then i will go ahead if i get any, i i will not get any comment okay no doubt no sir okay so optimum are bhai agar kisi ko bhi koi bhi doubt hai na to aapko hi bolna padega mere ko hai na ki aapko doubt hai koi teesra ya dusra aake nahi bolega ki aapko wo cheez samajh mein nahi aayi hai na mera kaam hai ki aapko sabko samajh mein aana chahiye question so if anyone have a doubt please comment so i can discuss it again if you don't have a doubt then it's okay so question number 35 what surface miner do 
so i have showed you the surface miner okay this is surface miner so first i will show you a video how surface miner works so you will get you will get better idea i i have already showed you the pictures but कुछ इट है फर्स्ट आई हैव टू कंप्लीट दिस चैप्टर देन आई विल डिस्कस इफ आई विल गेट अ टाइम आई विल टेक थ्योरी पार्ट ऑफ यूर ऑल्सो फॉर द ऑप्टिमम पिट वैल्यू थ्योरीज है ना फर्स्ट आई हैव टू कंप्लीट माय सिलेबस है ना देन आई विल डिस्कस द अदर अदर टॉपिक्स सो फर्स्ट आई आई वांट टू कंप्लीट द चैप्टर 1.3 और 1.2 व्हाटएवर इट इज देन वी विल कंप्लीट आवर चैप्टर 1 मतलब पूरा 1.1 1.1 चैप्टर 1 पूरा हो जाएगा देन वी विल डिस्कस सम फ्यू टॉपिक्स व्हिच यू आर इंटरेस्टेड तो इन दिस क्वेश्चन व्हाट वी हैव टू डू इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू डिस्कस द 2 मीटर कटिंग कटिंग ड्रम है ओके एंड द विड्थ ऑफ द एक्सक्वेटर कोल इज द विंड ड्राइंग मोड ऑफ द बेंच एंड इफेक्टिव फेस इज 2 मीटर मींस मींस Two meter is effective length. Okay, then the cutting speed. Cutting speed is ten meter per minute. Okay, and depth. Cutting depth. Cutting depth is twenty five centimeter. Okay, the density of the coal is one point four, and we have to find out the rate of production. Okay, we have to find out the rate of production. So this is the your surface miner. i have prepared for you this animation so you can understand better and it will help you to solve the questions suppose this is your surface miner so its surface miner will start to move cutting from one point to other point and then turn back and come back to these points okay so here suppose from this point to this point he has given 200 meter length okay and cutting speed he has told us 10 meter per minute so 10 meter per minute is the cutting should i write down all the parameters okay i will give you what he has provided us so you so width of the cutting width of cutting width of the cutting is given is 2 meter what it means so it will cut 2 meter width okay aise katta jayega 2 meter cutting width and depth of the cutting depth depth how much depth depth of the cutting will be 0.25 and the length is 200 meter density already given 1.4 and the cutting speed cutting speed the speed will be 10 minute 10 meter per minute that means um if we take 1 hour and turning suppose if it will reach here and then turning so it will take 5 minute in turning 5 minute here 5 minute here okay so suppose he has started so to reach 200 meter in the if we can calculate in 1 hour okay for the 1 hour we will consider so first we started to complete this length 200 meter length how much minute meter it will take so time 
require to cut one face length will be 200 divided by 10 because 10 is its speed so 20 minute it will take okay so from this point to this point it will take 20 minute then it will take 5 minute to turning so turning 5 minute so total total time is 25 minute for one cutting you can take one to cut one face it will take 25 minutes then it will come back to second phase second phase length again 20 minute then 45 minute it will reach here then come back and five minute will be take turning so five minute turning so we are getting in 50 minutes it already travel in the 50 minutes it it has traveled 400 meter because 200 up to this then come back it has traveled 400 meter so now we have only remaining 10 minutes to complete 60 minutes so in next 10 minutes 200 is the length and 10 is the speed so in the next 10 minute 10, 10 meter per minute so 100 meter it will be travel Fifty minutes, it will travel four hundred meter. Next ten minute, it is running with the ten meter minute per mi minute. So in ten minutes, it will be travel hundred meter. So in the first sixty minutes or one hour, it will travel five hundred meter. Are you getting or not? So first one hour it will travel from here to here, then go back and it will travel here. So it will travel 500 meter. Now we have to calculate what is the rate of production. Then the rate, pro rate of production will be. So rate of the production kya hota hai? So rate of production will be. Rate of production will be how much width is 2 meter, how much depth which is 0.25 and how much distance one round, two round and half round it will travel 500 meter. So multiply all of and production will be multiplied with the density of the coal which is, which is 1.4. So when you will multiply it, so do to Pachit Punjama, so Pachis, it is 1.4 into 2. When we multiply, it will be Daiso. It is 1.4. This will be 0.4. So 25 into 40. So you will get 350 ton per hour. Please comment if you have any doubt regarding this question. To watch the complete video download Mining Gyan 2.0 app from the Play Store and enjoy seamless learning with Mining Gyan 2.0.